Welcome to EMTB videos. Try e a Norwegian company that offers EMTBs for hire, invited us to do a first ride review of Rossignol e-bikes. There are two bikes in the lineup. The Rossignol e-track trail is the top of the line model with 27.5 plus wheels, 150 mil travel up front and 140 mil at the back. The e-track trail has got a 500 watt hours battery that is integrated in the down tube, and the down tube is quite chunky. That's because Rossignol is using the older BTE8020 battery, that is a bit bigger than the current crop of integrated batteries. Along with the 2.8 inch wide plus tires, it looks a bit dated, and that's okay. In Norway, this is among the cheapest, proper, trail-worthy EMTBs, and several competitors are running external batteries at this price point. The price might be less competitive in other markets, so keep that in mind if you're considering this bike. I usually point out that the internal batteries add weight and cost compared to external designs. But not so much in this case. The e-track trail weighs in at just under 24 kilos, without pedals, so the weight is competitive by today's standard. And it's not just the weight. The geometry figures are looking good too. A 65.25 degrees head angle is pretty much perfect for this kind of bike. And so is the 445mm chain staling. 443mm reach for size medium and 464mm for size large is an average length. Nothing wrong with that. Bottom bracket drop of 25mm is quite generous for a 140mm travel frame, resulting in a bottom bracket height of just under 340mm. I think that's a good height. I found this a bit surprising. I was halfway expecting to see a random generic frame from Alibaba with outdated geometry. The Rossignol e-track trail has the same frame as the Felt Redemption, so coming to think of it, these companies should have the knowledge between them to design a sorted frame. We tested the bike in size medium. Even though I'm 181 cm tall and Fredrik is a few centimeters taller, we often enjoy riding medium frames. But we were having issues with the e-track trail, due to a kink in the seat tube and the way the rear suspension is attached to the frame, the seat post can't be inserted deep into the frame. So the e-track trail has a short dropper seat post with just 100 mm of travel. And we couldn't get the seat high enough because we were exceeding the minimum insertion for the seat post. The medium frame would work well for us with a 125 mm dropper though. The shallow seat tube could be an issue for some, but in all fairness, most people our size would pick size large and have no issues. For shorter riders, this wouldn't be an issue. The e-track trail has got good components. The RockShox Deluxe R is a well-performing shock with no lockout. That doesn't bother me at all. I never ride shocks in the firm setting or locked out anyway. The fork is the entry-level RockShox 35 Gold RL. Far from a plush magic carpet ride, but a rugged fork that will handle big hits. A highly unsurprising choice. Drivetrain is the old SLX 11 speed with an 1146 teeth cassette, offering a nice spread of gears. Brakes are the powerful Shimano MT520 with four pot calipers. Good choice. Tires are the nice 3C rubber from Maxxis and they're the old 27.5 by 2.8 inch size. I had forgotten how comfortable the plus tire could be on the trails. Unfortunately, I was soon reminded that it's difficult combining the high level of comfort with the hard riding. After swapping the tube, we increased the air pressure. There is no denying plus tires can be pleasant, but when we're forced to run high air pressure, we decided we still prefer the narrower 2.5 to 2.6 inch tires. We continued riding at a good pace. The e-track trail doesn't have the geometry to be a climbing specialist, but the 445mm chainstay length is a good compromise, ensuring that the Rossignol is a capable climber. On the flat trails we enjoyed the somewhat short chainstays and relatively low bike weight. The Shimano E8000 motor was performing well in the climbs, and it dished out 
all the power we would ever want. The slack head angle and the low bottom bracket made the bike a capable descender, but most of all, it was a playful descender. We were all over the trails at good speed, searching for challenges. In Norway, the Rosignol e-track trail is a well-priced bike. I'm always looking for the cheapest proper trail EMTB, and this might just be the one. The e-track trail offers lots of well-performing and solid components, and it's looking pretty good with the integrated battery. But what stands out is the frame geometry and the nimble handling. This has got to be my favorite entry-level EMTB so far. 